Hey, what is going on guys? So today we're going to be taking a look at the most recent Marvel Legends figures I've picked up here. These three are from the Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania wave. The first one here of course being the Ant-Man himself. In the plastic free packaging that we are used to seeing. Shots of all sides of the packaging there. This wave's builder figure is the Cassie Lang. There is also the Wasp. These are the first versions I have had of both of these figures. And then the last one being Kang the Conqueror. And these are the only three that I did pick up from this wave. I was contemplating getting the others just for the Builder figure, but considering only two of these figures come with parts, I did decide to skip on that. Which I'm not too concerned with. I did enjoy the third Ant-Man movie, but definitely the weakest of the three. But we'll go ahead, we'll get them out of the packaging, and we'll take a look at what they do come with. And here we have all three figures out of the packaging, looking pretty great standing there. As you can see, all the accessories laid out up front. We'll start off with those and see what else does come with these figures. Starting off with the Ant-Man there, you do have the interchangeable helmet sculpt. You do get the interchangeable hands there also. A bit more expressive for the figure. For the Wasp, you do also get the helmeted head sculpt. This one does also have interchangeable hands, and you do also get the wings there that do go on the back of the figure. For Kang the Conqueror, you do also get the interchangeable hands. And of course, Kang and the Wasp come with their builder figure pieces. And now taking a look at the figures themselves, as mentioned, they do look really great standing there. There is some nice detail and sculpt work going into both of these figures. As I mentioned, I wasn't the biggest fan of the Ant-Man 3 movie. Definitely didn't dislike it at all. And like I said, this was more so to have some sort of representation of these figures. As I said, this is the first Ant-Man and the Wasp I do have here in the collection. And of course, with all the drama attached to a certain character, definitely a bit of a sour taste on this whole area, but I do like the Kang character. I did like where they were going with the story, of course, through the Loki series and then slightly into Quantumania. So I am happy to have the figure versions of these characters. Some really great head sculpts on both of these figures. I'm almost tempted to leave them displayed without the helmets on. As you can see, the back piece there on the Wasp does just disconnect. And then you can just go ahead and attach the back piece that does have the wings attached. They do have a bit of articulation in them, which is good to see. They can extend quite a ways up and also down. So you do get a little bit of posability options there. And then the Kang figure himself. A pretty great looking head sculpt on this one also. I do like the way this one does look standing there. Of course being quite a traffic cone just with the shoulder pieces on that robe outfit. Some great looking colours and again just great sculpt work over this figure. I was a bit sceptical of the helmets looking a bit small on the Ant-Man and the Wasp figures. The helmet sculpts themselves are a bit smaller than the head sculpts. So here I do have them on the figure and I don't actually think they look too bad. I think the scaling is pretty close to accurate. They might be a little bit under, but they do work for me. And here I have all three figures posed up, all looking pretty great there. Like I said, I am really happy to finally have these ones, and I do think they have all turned out quite well. Cannot wait to get these ones in the display, but that'll just about do it for this one, guys. Have you picked up these figures, or are you going to? As always, thank you all for watching, I do appreciate it. Let me know what you do think below, and I'll catch you in the next one.